The building at 2037 West Franklin Street, originally known as Mundo's Tavern, is one of two surviving structures from the era when the West Side was still known as Independence. This gable front two-story building is constructed of wood. The building was constructed in 1883 for 21-year-old Philip Mundo, a German immigrant who came to Evansville shortly after the Civil War. It originally served multiple purposes, including a saloon, a boarding house, and a residence for Philip and his five family members. In December 1925, Philip died of pneumonia at the age of 63 in his home. Mundo's Tavern was sold to Carl Herkey after Philip's death. Herkey ran the establishment throughout the late 20s and into the mid-30s. During the Prohibition era, he was forced to stop selling the tavern's usual liquor and alcoholic beverages and start selling soft drinks and ice cream. In 1934, Herkey sold the tavern to Henry Hagedorn. Henry changed the name to Hagedorn's, which has since become a Franklin Street fixture. Henry and various members of his family would keep Hagedorn's a family-owned business until the mid-1960s when Bernie Hagedorn decided to sell the tavern. Jim Mosby and Charlie Seibert would buy the tavern as co-owners. Jim and Charlie would run Hagedorn's for 40 years and eventually end up selling it to Mike and Don Nunning, who also operated the historic Dogtown Tavern. Today, Hagedorn's is still owned by Mike and Don and serves Westsiders in much the same way as when it was opened by Philip Mundo back in 1883.